Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Courtney and I am a nutritionist and one of the areas I specialize in is juicing and juice cleansing. And today I wanna to share tips for how to make your green juice not taste like your lawn. Uh, this is something that people are often concerned about, how to drink green juice in a way that's gonna be palatable, how to tolerate the taste, um, and how to actually make the juice itself be as palatable as it can. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, and so we're mostly talking about how to make green juice, like vegetable juice, taste better because most people aren't emailing me asking how can they tolerate the taste of watermelon juice. Um, so fruit juice is not usually the challenge. So the context of this video is gonna be about making juices or drinking juices that are mostly vegetables and low glycemic, low sugar ingredients or, com or potentially completely low sugar. So juices that might ha not have any sweet fruit in them at all. All right, so let's get started. The first tip is use cucumber and or celery as the base for all of your green juice recipes. Now, cucumber and celery are like unicorns <laughs> when it comes to making juices. They're like in this own little category of their own in terms of the way that they kind of function in juicing. And so they're really special because they are both very water rich. So they yield a lot of juice. You get a lot of juice out of them. So that's one of their unicorn features. <laughs> also, they're not sweet. So they're not going to um, raise your you know, blood sugar or feed candida, and they're not gonna present the issues that sometimes lots of fruit juice can present. Um, and so that's a unique feature. And also, they're not that strong tasting. They're not, they're fairly mild. Now, some of you who may have juiced just plain celery alone, uh, might disagree with that <laughs> because sure like the taste of just straight-up vegetables and fruits especially in juice form can be shocking to um, to our sometimes skewed taste buds that are used to sugar and used to in some ways like totally different foods you know we're this day and age a lot of people aren't just eating straight-up vegetables but really, when you compare celery and cucumber juice to kale juice <laughs> or, um, I don't know, garlic juice or like uh, greens, you know, and a lot of the other vegetables, compared to them, uh, celery and cucumber are mild. And so both celery and cucumber are really good bases for juice because they are low sugar, they yield a lot of juice, and they are not as strong tasting as the other things. So what I would recommend uh, is that for your juices that you make at home, for each of them to be at least 50% cucumber and or celery mix. Personally, I like a mix of both, but you could do one or the other. At least 50% cucumber and celery. Sometimes I make ones that are more like 70 or 80% cucumber and celery. And then you fill up the rest of the juice with other ingredients. And having that base is going to make the juice more palatable than if you just made a juice without those things and you're trying to load up broccoli and kale and um, zucchini and all these kinds of things. So the second tip is always use lemon and or lime in your green juices. Lemon and lime are also sort of juicing unicorns because they are not sweet, so they are not considered a sweet fruit, but they have this very unique ability to take the kind of like bitter edge off of the green juice. Um, obviously they're sour, but when you put them in a juice with all the other greens, most people find that the juice is significantly more palatable with lemon or lime. You may want to play around with how much you use. Um, I like to use a fair amount because obviously if you only use a teeny bit, you may not get that benefit of it tasting better. But like if I was to make say a liter of juice, a quart or a liter of juice, I'd probably be using at least half a, a lemon in there, maybe a whole lime um, and potentially more. And so I never make a strong green juice without lemon and lime, or lemon or lime or both. So that is the second tip. Um, 
The third tip is make sure that you store your juice correctly because if you make a juice and you don't store it very well and then you drink it two days later, it's probably not gonna taste good. So that might sound like an obvious thing, but I just wanted to mention it, is that if you make juice ahead of time, make sure you refrigerate it, store it in glass, put a lid on it and drink it within you know a day or two, depending on how long um, the juicer you're using makes uh, like how long the, the juices from that juicer will last. Um, and I've made other videos about that before, but basically you'd be looking at 24 hours for most juicers. The third thing is experiment with vegetables. So you got your base of your cucumber and celery, you've got your lemon and lime, but then knowing what's going to have a strong taste and knowing what's going to combine well is something that you have to just learn. Now you can obviously always make juices from recipes online and then that's a pretty good bet that someone's figured out what might taste okay together. Um, but it does taste some, take some practice, you know. So for example, if you juice uh, mustard greens, <laughs> that is going to make a significantly stronger tasting juice than if you juice um, romaine lettuce as your leafy green. So you play around, you know, experiment. Find out what you like, what you don't. You can start out with more mild juices and then maybe Later you upgrade to spicier and stronger tasting juices. And the fourth tip is change your mindset for juicing. Think of juice, especially green juice, that's the stronger tasting juice. Think of juice as medicine, not like food. <laughs> it is food. In fact, it's a better food for your body than most of the other things that we eat. But think of it as medicine. So I think that if you go into juicing thinking, this has got to please my taste buds, I've got to like the taste, I've got to, uh, you know, it's got to taste good good to me, that it, uh, it kind of sets you up for probably some failure. Now, is that to say that you shouldn't want the taste, the juice to taste good? Of course not. But my point is, even with all the tips in the world that all the experienced juicers know about making green juice taste as palatable as it can be, and even if you, you know, went to top juice chefs in the world or whatever, you still might find the taste of green juice hard. Um, and that's because it's medicine. <laughs> it's medicine. Um, and so if you think of it as medicinal and you kind of go into it not expecting it to really give you a lot of pleasure, I often think of it almost like an IV of nutrition. <laughs> Just something I'm flooding my body with nutrition alkaline minerals, it's helping to cleanse me, it's helping to make my body more alkaline, it's just saturating me with all these phytonutrients. I think of it as medicine. And then if it does taste palatable, it's almost like a bonus. <laughs> it's like a pleasant surprise. <laughs> um, and so I think that that mindset will help a lot. The fifth tip, which isn't really a tip, but it's something to know, and this is extremely important actually, when your body is over acidic, which most of us are over acidic, and when your taste buds are being um, interfered with by the different things that many of us eat, so our taste buds can be skewed by sugars, by different chemicals that we're eating, by different additives in food, these really strong stimulations to our taste buds. Point is, our taste buds can get skewed. And then of course, and then we've got this also this body chemistry that's over acidic. Now when you're in that state and you have green juice, it can taste awful, not because it's the green juice, but because of the, it's like the opposition of how medicinal and alkaline and nutrient rich this juice is and the chemistry of your body and the condition of your taste buds. So why I'm saying that is if you can stick with it, if you can stick with the juicing and overall be trying to improve your diet in other areas as well, what you will often find, I cannot, there's countless examples I could give you, of people who after a while, their body chemistry has changed, their taste buds have changed, and they go, is this the same juice? Like it doesn't taste as bad. It may not taste like nachos, obviously, but they notice a significant difference in like the aversion of it um, and the reaction of it based on their body changing. So that may happen for you. You can look forward to that and um, green juice may in the future taste better to you than it does now. 
So that's it for today, and I will see you all soon. You can check out more on my website at CourtneyPool.com. Bye, everyone.